Boss family, do you guys want to know one of the key features in having a successful French Bulldog litter? Well then stay tuned through this whole video and I'm going to show you guys how. What's up Boss fam, it's Boss Kennels back at you guys with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a French Bulldog incubator just from a cat litter box. This was under $300 and so without further ado, let's get into the video. So first, you guys are gonna need a cat litter box. I got this on uh, offer up for about five, ten dollars, and I got this off of Amazon. You're gonna want one of these. You're gonna want a thermostat, a heat bulb, an ink you ink bird uh, controller for your heat in your humidity we're gonna want a humidifier you're gonna need a heat lamp I like this one because it has it's not a, just an on and off one it's you can control the brightness to how hot you want it so that way if you get a bulb that is either too many wattage then you could always dim it down last but not least we need a electric drill oh and one more thing We're gonna need a fan to cool everything down. All right, so this next clip, we're gonna start building. All right, so first things first, we're gonna need to cut a hole for this lamp. I'm gonna go to the back. You guys can go to the middle, it really doesn't matter. And actually, should I go to the back? I'm liking the, little, the middle just a little bit more than I like the the back so I'm gonna cut a hole right in the middle of it to do that make sure the measurements are right I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna just draw a big circle around this heat lamp boom just like that now let's cut this hole five hours later all right so now that we're back we got this on as you can see the heat lamp is on, it's on there tight. I can move it around, it's not falling. And what I did do just to ensure that is I put on some heat resistance tape and I kind of taped all around just to make sure there's no air escaping and to make sure this, that this light does not fall on my puppies if it does happen to melt through this plastic, which it should never be that hot to be able to do that, but you never know. So I just wanted to double down make sure that this is on there all the way and if you ever cut that hole too big the heat resistance tape will help make sure that it stays in place and make sure you guys watch this video to the end so you guys do not make any of the same mistakes i did like one of those mistakes took i was using scissors it took super long to cut through this thick plastic so make sure that you guys do not make any of the same mistakes i did and only way to do that is by watching this video to the end so now that we got the heat, the heat uh, lamp on, we gotta be able to put this humidifier on. We gotta put the ink bird on, attach that to the side, and attach our thermostat along with our humidifier gauge. And we got to put our fan on there. So next up, we're gonna be installing the fan. And to be honest, I'm thinking I want that on the back here. So it's taking all the air from the back, blowing it to the front. And so, or, yeah, I'm gonna do the back. So with that being said, let's get this fan onto the back of the incubator. This fan. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button. Hit that hit that subscribe button. It'll take two seconds of your day to follow me on Instagram. Meet me over there, and let's get back to making this incubator. Okay, so now we drilled four little holes on the back of the incubator with the big hole for the fan to uh, take all the hot, humid air out. So now I'm going to screw in the fan. Let's get to it. Once you get this fan tied on, you wanna make sure that it's all good. 
and everything works, you wanna make sure that this end is blowing out the, the uh, air. If it's blowing in the air, it's doing the complete opposite. The goal of this fan is to blow out all the hot air that this produces and all the humidity that this puts in if it ever gets to the maximum. So right now I already tested it on the, on the outlet, made sure it's blowing the fan out. I put the little cages on just to make sure nothing, no lint or nothing gets in here. Cause you have to remember this is the ICU unit for the pets that you're putting in here. So nothing should be getting in or out unless you want it to. So I put the fan on, let's start setting up this humidity. Okay, y'all, so I just put this humidifier right here, right next to it, suction cupped it right here. You wanna make sure that there is no kinks in this tubing. If you create a kink or if it's sloping down, then it's gonna just sit water right there and it'll clog it up and then there will no, be no fog. If there's no fog, then there's no humidity. With this humidity, I made a hole right here. Go ahead and stuck that in there. Perfect fit. Uh, and then if you want to, you could also get an oxygen uh, nebulizer, put it right there and make a second hole like right here to feed them oxygen. I plan on doing that. But now we got the fan and the fan will not be set up on this Inky, Ink Bird uh, humidity and temp controller. I'm only planning on putting the humidifier plugged in and the heat lamp plugged in. This fan will stay on 24 seven, no matter what. Then we got the second cord of the heat lamp right here to be plugged in. And then right here we got the humidifier, same thing. So the way this works is you'll program it. You'll throw this in there so it knows the humidity. This is the probe. Where's the probe? For the heat gauge. And then you'll throw those both in here. Once that's going, it'll automatically tell this once it hits that temperature to shut off or turn back on to get these going. Now with this, this is the final step. Now with this lid, you're gonna take this, I mean the bottom part, you're gonna take this and just stuff it on down. Stuff it down. If it's too big, you can cut it. Mine's is the perfect size. Boom, boom, boom. And when, while you're doing this, right now I don't have any puppies. While you're doing this, you wanna have a pee pad so that it all gets in there. And you want to have this egg crate in here. This was like five, 10 bucks. Throw a blanket, pee pads, whatever you want. And this is to make a texture for the puppy's chest so that they do not become flat chested. And if they become flat chested, that is a whole nother issue that could kill your pups. So you really, really want to spend that five extra dollars to get some egg crate, throw it in here, and let your puppies develop so that they're not laying flat on their chest and it's gonna create breathing issues. So I got this in here. Then I got these blankets to go with it right here. Then I got extra humidity gauges just in case one of mine goes out. Temperature gauge for when she comes into heat. But along with that, I'll have it set up just like this. And in the very back somewhere, I'm gonna have this propped up. That way I know it is 82 degrees Fahrenheit and 44% humidity right now in this room. And now I know, all right, I got this, plus my ink bird, plus one of these extra ones, just in case one happens to be wrong. Right now this one says 81.1 .1 degrees Fahrenheit this one says 82. So you see that there's a little bit of a difference by 0.1. 1.1, it's not that big of a deal. But I want to be 100% sure what I'm getting into in my puppy's temperature. So now I'm going to 
take these stickers and decorate the incubator a little bit, make it festive, support my local breeders, all my other breeders out here. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. We've saved the best for last. Put your hands together for. Taking Gabbana to this boy down in Texas from 512 Frenchies, little bit. And let me tell you, this boy is tiny. You guys thought Gabbana was tiny? He is smaller than her. So you're, you guys already know we're gonna only create aliens with this litter. And let me tell you, he is, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just pop up a picture of him right here. All right, you guys already, you guys get a gist of what he looks like now. So imagine him and Gabbana. And if you guys go back to my Rumble in the Jungle video, if you see a little dog in Gabbana playing by a tree in the dirt, look at that boy and look at her. That's who Little Bit is. Little Bit is that little boy. So this next litter is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna let you guys right now, this is my first public announcement. Two puppies are gone. You guys know how small Gabbana is. I can't see her having more than four puppies. So with that being said, I'm gonna I'm say right now, there's two puppies available, two are already gone. Two are not available. It's up to you guys to fill up these last two slots for these two puppies. And if she has more, that's even better. But little bit, X Gabbana is gonna be next level aliens. And what I mean by that is they're out of this world. So all I'm gonna say is you do not wanna miss out on this litter. So if you have, if you're saving up for a Frenchie, this is the litter to get, micro. Small as can be with perfect structure. If you are wanting a Frenchie as a pet, I'll do that for you too. I may co-own one of these dogs, I'm not sure yet. But if you are looking to get into Frenchies, you just want one as a pet, you're already an established breeder, but you're, you want another one, this is the litter to get. Do not sleep on it or else you're gonna miss out. This is her first breeding, her first one, and it's already fire. We're coming with fire all 2023, all 2024. With that being said, Kane has a litter coming this three months. We're waiting to confirm it right now. He just had a breeding go down the other day in person. So hopefully she took, I'll let you guys know over on the Instagram. And Instagram will always have the first updates. So if you're interested in this Gabbana X little bit litter, you wanna go over there right here, click right here. Here's my Instagram. Over here is uh, 512 Frenchies little bit if you wanna look at them some more. But this is not a litter you will wanna miss. Hop on board, boss fam. We ready to go. All right. Let's get back to where we were at in this incubator DIY video. This incubator is not gonna be 100% accurate. It's not gonna be the fanciest. It's not gonna be the best incubator out there, but it is something that is available that you could build or I could build for you if you don't trust yourself. Just text me on uh, Instagram. Let me know, leave a comment in the comment section and I'm always available. If you have any questions what to set your temperature to and your humidity to, or how to use the ink bird, once again, leave a comment in the comment section, and I'm probably gonna refer you to my Instagram so we can save those messages. So make sure you give me a, a follow on Instagram. It'll be down right there, boss.kennels, two Zs. Make sure you shoot me with a follow. If you liked this video and you found it helpful, drop a subscribe and a like button down below. And that is it. I'm glad I could help you guys get this incubator made. I hope it saves a bunch of puppies out there. And let's get to whelping. A few things about this project is make sure you are prepared. Make sure you have all the materials that you need or it's gonna take you a full day to complete this. Uh, so like I said, under two, $300, I got this. Everything came off of Amazon. I had this for I don't know how long, so this was not factored into the price. The tape was not factored into the price just because this is something that's extra to me, another precaution I'm taking. The ink bird is a mandatory. This fan is a mandatory. You could go any size depending what breed you're having. Um, litter box, there is a way to make this portable as well. All you need to do 
You only need one plug, two plugs. Get the aux connector or cigarette connector for your car. Plug these two in and you're good. I don't recommend bringing the humidifier though with you on the trip just because it'll spill. It's gonna be more of a hassle than it needs to be. One thing when I ordered this humidifier is that this lid did not fit. So I had to improvise and take this lighter to be able to get it to fit. What else went up? With and just like that, boss fam, we completed our DIY incubator. Uh